Hello everyone and welcome to my little corner of the internet. My name's Michael and I'm bitten by a radioactive book. Today is Tic Tac Tuesday and I'm doing the awkward tag or the that's awkward book tag. This tag was originally created by Michael Booklion and I was tagged by Emily from Rooftop Reads. I will leave the link to both of their videos in the description down below. So, let's head into the question. The first question is, what fictional characters or books have you or would you choose to spend time with over real people? Um, I think that the answer is written in the wind. No, of course not. Uh, the answer is uh, very easy and most of you will have figured it out by now. It would be the characters of the Malazan Book of the Fallen series. Um, yeah, I really love that series. I think it has some very interesting characters in it. I think it has a very interesting way of introducing characters because there are so many characters so that for some uh, you maybe have like an immediate connection, but with others it takes like a couple of books to get that kind of connections and some are so minor that you don't really get to know them at all. And I think that's, uh, that's like um, a very close relation to real life because you have people that you already yeah have like um, uh, very positive feelings after maybe meeting them once or twice very briefly and you know that is someone you get along with other people you get uh, to be friend over a long period of time and get to know them very intensely and others are will always remain just acquaintances and um, and that is uh, reflected really well in the books of uh, Stephen Erickson. Question two is, what is the most recent book that you freaked out over while reading in public? Well, you can assume that I might not be the most freaking out person when reading in public. Like, oh yeah, go tell them, Adult Stark. Don't lose your head about this, you know? Um, no, uh, I don't know. Um, I'm more of the introverted reader when it comes to reading in, in public. I don't read that much in public uh, at all. Maybe, maybe in the waiting room uh, at the doctor's um, or something like that, but that's, uh, that's it. Um, yeah, so for me it might be the closest thing is that I'm reading a Discworld book uh, at the moment and I've read it once or twice uh, uh, while other people were in the room and I laughed once or twice. That happens in a Discworld book. It, it's, um, yeah. Uh, and oh, yeah, so so sorry to hear that uh, Terry Pratchett actually passed away. So uh, yeah, uh, ha having a good laugh about his work uh, in public, maybe that's what we all should do. Don't you think? Question three is, what books will you defend with your life? I think here I would go for the Dragonlance series as a whole, because um, the Dragonlance series could be called like very cheesy. Uh, it's like a huge series of mass market paperback uh, books. Some of them are not as good in, in, in quality. And I think the series incorporates everything what a lot of people will tell you today is wrong with fantasy. And you might be right in uh, saying so, uh, uh, like having uh, um, a lot of mail uh, protagonists there having a lot of cliche like elves and dwarves and 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 typical things uh, in it uh, but you would be also wrong because the series on a really early or in a really early stage introduce some very strong and interesting female characters uh, I think uh, like like Tika the barmaid or, or Gold Moon who is a bit like uh, the the chosen one uh, in the book so you don't have like the male orphan chosen one 
uh, 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 Kitiara, uh, the the half sister of Raistlin, and um, oh my God, I want to call him Cameron, but that's not his name. Caramon is the name. I just looked it up. Um, so yeah, well, we had um, we have a lot of interesting female characters in this series as well, and the series somehow, yeah. Um, embodies my first endeavors into reading fantasy and introducing me uh, to the genre and it did that on um, yeah uh, on a stage where maybe like other books that are more intellectually engaging more or better written uh, that I appreciate now a days um, wouldn't have grabbed my attention the attention of the 13 year old boy and uh, that's what the series managed and uh, yeah helped to put me on the way uh, so yeah i would defend this series uh, to all uh, its critiques um, and yeah so that's my answer for this question question four what are the books that when you see them in a bookstore you talk to as if they are a real person that has to be my favorite question. I imagine me going into the bookstore and saying something like, oh, hey, a press Assassin's Apprentice, rough day. Hmm? Or um, the Malazan Book of the Fallen, uh, maybe Gardens of the Moon. Oh, you guys are all still around. Wow. Might be different in the future, you know? Um... No, I don't really do that. Uh, uh, I don't talk to, to books. It's not like, oh, I, I might read you in the future. Stroke, stroke, stroke. Nah, that, that, that uh, doesn't happen. Nope, 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 nope. Sorry, sorry. Great question, but nope. What, what, what is that, the Lord of the Rings? No, no, yeah, we haven't talked in a while. I know that. Sorry. It's not a bookstore, though. Not a bookstore. Question five is, what fictional characters or which fictional world do you sometimes wish you are in? Um, I think a lot of the fantasy worlds are not really, like, appealing, because they are worlds filled with, with hardships and without the internet. So I wouldn't basically survive in them. Um, but uh, worlds I mention uh, normally on the or, or uh, for these questions would be Patrick Rothfuss, uh, Rothfuss's world uh, uh, from the Kingkiller Chronicles. I think the university there that Quoth attends is a relatively safe place when it comes to fantasy. Uh, series and the people he meets there are mostly like positive and interesting so that would be an environment that uh, yeah would enjoyable or would be enjoyable and safe and maybe the catty J um, from Chris Wooding's uh, Tales of the catty J series because um, the characters there on the um, airship Kitty J are just like very hilarious and a, a great crew to hang out with. Um, although life on the Kitty J is very dangerous, um, but somehow, uh, yeah, they, they manage to get through uh, and, and survive under harsh conditions, so, so that might be an interesting, um, yeah, world to visit for one adventure or something. Um, so yeah, that's the answer for that. So, and of course, if you had a moment in your life related to a book that led to an awkward situation, please feel tagged in this tag. Um, and if you like this video and this tag, please hit the like button. If you want to see more of me, subscribe to my channel. If you want to know what's coming up on my channel, please look inside the description box. There's a little segment there called On the Horizon. I wish you a good day and hope you get bitten by a really awkward book tooth. Bye.